I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 263, where I'm going to show you how to summarize multidimensional data by descriptor. This is in response to a question sent in to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. And I really appreciate Marco sending this question in. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. And I will try to answer your question here on the podcast. Marco has here a model that has a list of various groups and various people. And with those, we have months associated with them, and then we have some sort of number that uh, we have associated with this intersection of this group and this person and the month. What Marco wants to do is he wants to go ahead and summarize this based off of the descriptor, whether or not the descriptor is head or member, uh, as it is shown here. So how would I do this? in Quantrix. Well, I suppose there's maybe one or two or more ways that you could do this. And I would do it this way. And I would go ahead and I'd probably create two new matrices here. Uh, one is going to be my summary matrix and then another one is going to be my, I guess my helper matrix. Although I'm not sure I need the helper matrix, but I think I'll show you the helper matrix. That way you can uh, see it here on the podcast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this category of CI and I'm going to move it here to the side. And then I'm going to use a function over here in A1. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete all of these summary item matrix formulas that came over. And in A1, I'm simply going to say at descriptor. And my category is CI and the descriptor name I'm not exactly sure on that, so I'm going to right-click this, and I'm going to say item descriptor. I guess it's type. So I will put type in the descriptor name. I'm not sure if I need that in double quotes or not, and it looks like I do not. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, that formula in matrix 1. And what uh, this at descriptor is doing is it's going ahead and it's breaking out the descriptor that's associated with uh, this CI category and it's that description that is known as type and it's putting it here in a cell value. Now with that I'm then going to create a summary matrix over here down here below that is going to simply summarize uh, by kind of descriptor whether it's member or head that looks like the only two that I have in here and I could sort this actually and see that so if I sort this ascending I can see I got a bunch of blanks those are probably all on the summary items or other items, but it looks like I have two. I have member and head. So I'm going to remove the sort here, or clear the sort, and I'm going to put member in this category. I'm going to put head in this category, and then I'm going to bring months down over here. And then with this, it's going to simply be a sum select statement, and I'm going to say sum, or actually, I, I'm not going to select the range like that. I'm going to go colon equals, meaning this matrix equals sum select. What do I want to select? I want to select the, you know, the values here from individual values. And what is my key list that I want to look up? Well, my key list, I could say it's in A1 over here. And the reason why I can do that is I can, because this is linked, the CI category is linked here. So essentially, A1 is an extension of uh, this matrix over here, the way Quantrix works. And what I wanted to look up, I wanted to look up at D. If I go ahead and I do that, I get a pound size error. Uh, that is not what I was expecting. So let me maybe put uh, a target in here and get a little bit more specific, see if that helps me. And indeed it does because I have an item up here of target and that's what I'm going to want to bring back in this case. And that gets rid of the pound size error when I'm a little bit more uh, specific on what I want to return. So uh, that is one way you could do it, uh, simply using a sum select with a little bit of a helper matrix. If you want, if you didn't want to do it that way, you could also say, you know, this equals sum select individual values individual values and then of course I'm going to specify target here and then I'm going to say at descriptor of my category which is this guy here 
What is the descriptor? It is type. That's going to be my key list, and my lookup value is going to be at D, and that should give me uh, the same answer as I had before. So again, if I were to comment this one out, I would have it. So there's two different ways, using a sum select with a helper matrix, and then simply using a sum select with the at descriptor uh, as my key list uh, with a nested at descriptor function for my key list. And that's how I would create the summary matrix off of uh, entries within a uh, descriptor. There you have it. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. This is a fantastic tool. makes my day every day because I get to use it. And I really do want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.